exclaimed to Ryan that this guitar sounds really, really good, and it does. Um, Rob from Guitar Shop here. This is a PRS P22, and I don't think we've ever done a video for a P22 before, so got some splaining to do for y'all folk. P22 is essentially a custom 22 with a slightly thicker body, and the P stands for Paizo, rather than pizza, as some customers assume. So it's not mm, pizza. Ain't the pizza guitar, and you don't get free delivery with this one. Should we get pizza today? Let's get some pizza today. Right, pizza Tuesdays? Yeah, pizza Tuesdays. So, um, the switching, the way it works, the five-way works like a custom 22. Neck pickup, inside coils, both humbuckers, neck single with bridge humbucker, and then bridge humbucker on its own, volume control, tone control, and then we have the mystery knob and switch combus over here. Separate knob and switch. Okay, so this little guy in the down position, this works exactly like a standard electric guitar. With this in the down position, volume, tone, five-way, and two humbuckers, see you later. That's it. Put this in the up position, activates the piezo pickup in the bridge, get a nice acoustic tone. In the down position, with one plug in, this knob is not effective. What this knob is for is when we put the switch in the middle position, it's a blend between electric pickups and the acoustic sensor. So that's electric on that side, acoustic on that side, and any level of blend in the middle. Fair enough. The Fair acoustic enough. actually sounds really good when you plug it into a PA or an acoustic amp. Here we've got it running through. Uh, the Mesa JP2C, which is an electric guitar amp, but if you run it through an acoustic amp, it sounds just as realistic as plugging in your Taylor or Martin with a pickup, uh, because I mean, essentially any guitar with a piezo, you're just hearing the contact point of the string more than you're hearing the guitar. Hence why you can get away with getting acoustic sounds out of an electric guitar. Let's talk about that particular guitar, because it's a bit unique. Let's talk about this particular jack plate first. Ooh. What do we got here? Here's a jack plate. Uh, yes. I have no idea. We're going to get in trouble for this one. <laughs> so here's the jack plate. Here, I'll hold it upside down so you can read it. So it says mix mag, piezo, and then battery. Battery, obviously, is the battery compartment. So you plug the guitar where the battery goes. The battery is only for the piezo pickup. If the battery dies, uh, you can still use the electric pickups with no issues. The mix mag lets you use the magnetic pickups or both if it's the only one plugged in. If you plug in the piezo output, it just lets you send the acoustic sound to an acoustic amp or the PA or recording console or whatever. Uh, that way, if you're doing your big grand rock production at the local bar on the weekend, you can have your raging Marshall stack for these pickups and your uh, stereo acoustic sound happening simultaneously through an acoustic amp. And For wanted dead or alive. For wanted dead or alive, you can blow the minds of the local drugs. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about why this particular guitar is special. Um, not such a common color. This one is copper. Uh, that's a new color this year. I can't remember what that's called. They had a, cover, uh, a color called copper on the Paul's guitar that looked a lot like this. So since we make up names for colors anyways, let's just call this one copper. Let's call it burnt tangerine. Uh, let's call this uh, Domino's Pizza Crust Brown. I like it. Okay, so Do they have Domino's Pizza in the States? Will they know that? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Did you see the first Ninja Turtles movie? Yeah, all right, right. Really American, yeah, 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 right? For sure, for sure. Okay, so here we are in DPC Brown. Uh, and what makes this guitar special, other than having a better ten top than most ten tops we see around these parts these days, is it has an artist package neck on it, and it's not really supposed to, and you're not paying for it because it's priced like a regular P22. So What's they said this something special here: black ebony fingerboard, ebony headstock overlay, inlaid mother of pearl. Actually, no, sorry, that's abalone. Inlaid abalone logo, and we have abalone birds with separate abalone outlines. Just give these little fly guys a bit of definition. It's the mahogany back? Mahogany back, mahogany neck. Ooh, a little ripple in the mahogany yeah, back. Look like at that. What a jubilant mahogany back. <laughs> Anyways, you have any sugar for you? Named after a pizza box. That's it. <laughs> Domino's Pizza Crust Brown. Um, yeah, ebony fingerboard feels great, really enhances the acoustic end of the tone. It's just got a nice spot of end to this guitar. We like it. A couple of metal riffs and see you later. <laughs>